Hello, Lana. Welcome to Science and Technology Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we shall learn about parts of a digital device. We shall learn about parts of a digital device. Get your digital device ready. Your radio teacher is Mr. Dominic Mohia. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our science and technology lesson for grade 4. Today we are going to learn about functions of the different parts of a digital device. In our previous lesson, we learned about a digital device. We even named a few examples of digital devices. Lana, do you remember what is a digital device? Yes, a digital device is a tool or an equipment that can process words, figures, sounds, and images. It is also an electronic device, meaning it uses electricity. It is an electronic device that can receive store, process, or send digital information. Lana, let us now name some of the digital devices that we know. Give me three digital devices. I hope you have mentioned the following devices. One, a radio. We are communicating through a radio. And a radio is a digital device. Other digital devices include mobile phones, computers, laptops, television, smartwatch, and even tablets. All these are digital devices. Why do we call them digital devices? Very well, because they receive, they store, they process, and they even send digital information. We use digital devices for various purposes. We use them to learn and search for information. We also take photographs. We do online shopping, banking, we also play games. I know you like to play games. We also use digital devices for entertainment, such as listening to music and watching videos. Lana, can you identify some parts of a digital device? Digital devices, especially computers, laptops, tablets, 
and mobile phones have the following parts. One, keyboard or touchpad. Two, we have the screen or the monitor. Three, we have speakers. Four, we have cables. Five, we have storage device. And lastly, we have processor, central processing unit. Now I want you to match the following uses with the parts that we have mentioned. Lana, get ready. I will read out the uses and I want you to match them in your book in the correct manner. I hope you are ready. Match the following uses with their parts. And the uses are A. Displays information. B. Types into the computer. C. Controls and processes programs. D. It gives an instruction when clicked. E. It connects digital devices to electric power. And the last use, it produces sound. I hope you have done the matching. Now I shall reveal the answers to the different uses. The first use was displaying information. And the part that displays information is the screen or the monitor. The second use was typing into the digital device or into the computer. And that part, we call it the keyboard or a touchpad. The third use was controlling and processing programs. And the part that controls and processes programs, we call it the processor. And we have one main processor that we call the central processing unit. The fourth use was giving instructions when clicked. And this is none other than the mouse or the pointer. When we click the mouse, it gives an instruction. The fifth use was connecting digital devices to electric power. And the part that connects the digital devices to electric power is known as a cable. The last use was producing sound. And in the production of sound, we use the speakers. Lana, I hope you have matched them in the correct manner. We now have the different parts of a digital device and their uses. How many did you get correct? Now you can do your correction. We have learnt the uses of the different parts of a digital device. For your assignment, I want you 
to write a letter. Yes, I want you to write a letter. Write a letter to your friend. And in this letter, I want you to explain how different parts of a digital device work. You'll write a letter to your friend and explain how different parts of a digital device work. I will take the parts again and their uses so that you don't leave anything out of your letter. You said the monitor displays information. The keyboard or touchpad types into the computer or into the digital device. The processor controls and processes programs. The mouse gives an instruction when clicked. We use cables to connect our digital devices to electric power. We have the speakers that do produce sound. And that marks the end of our lesson for today. Goodbye! Hello, Lana. Welcome to Science and Technology.